for Dickie Art Gallery. In the meantime, my guest is seated in all her glory. Now, she is in the person of Sharon Diddy Paddy. And this morning, she joins me for a particular reason. I have her whole bio, but I don't like to do that. Why should I read a bio when she's right in front of me? We'll get the bio out of her. You're welcome, Sharon. You're welcome to the zone. Thank you very much. So, let's talk about you and art. You are an artist, right? Yeah. Okay. Typically in Ghana, when we say an artist, a lot of people have a lot of different ideas. Mm -hmm. So, can you give us some clarity as to what kind of artist you are? Um, I'll first say I'm a painter. Okay. And I'm more of an abstract painter. Okay. And when I classify it as abstract, it means um, I'm not a still life or portrait painter. Okay. Yes. Okay. I paint on things that go on around us. Okay. Our life, our heritage. Yes. Okay. That's very interesting. Why that? Why did you choose that path? I didn't choose it. It chose you? It chose me. Okay, let's talk about it that. It found me. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> yes. It's just been from childhood. Okay. It's been part of me right from the onset. I've been scribbling around everywhere I go. Even when I'm writing my notes in school, you see me drawing in the empty spaces in the notebook. So it's always been part of me. Right. And it's not something I learned. Okay. I didn't learn it. I just knew it. It just came and it with came you. came from within. It came with you when, yes. when your, your, your mom had you. Yes. When God created you. It's part you, of me. You came with it. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah. And, um, you know... When, well, typically in, in a, a lot of Ghanaian homes, when, when children are growing up and they're artistic, in fact, let me use me. I have a three year old at home and she's drawn on all the walls. Oh, good. In the, in the <laughs> and I'm always trying to stop her. No. You know, I'm always trying to say, but you, you're destroying the walls. And yes, you can stop her with something. Right. So get her a sketch pad. Okay. So yes. that she and can show her this is where we draw. Do all your drawings, and when it's finished, come back. I'll buy one for I'll you. I'll buy one for you. Then yes. she can put all that energy yes. on there. Yes. It's very interesting. So, growing up, did you have maybe a mother like me who was telling you to stop destroying uh, our walls? Uh, you, you have <laughs> even taken it as a joke. She wouldn't do that. Oh, because right. In the first place, the art was, uh, you know, she wouldn't. Those days. There was no, not much recognition in Africa, mm. like in Ghana, for art. And you come and you come and spoil her wall. The little money she's got as she's painted her wall, you come and mess it up. Mm. She won't take it easy or lightly. Right. So it was just like that till, um, okay, I went to secondary school. Okay, which one? Uh, Krobo Girls okay. Secondary School. Okay. Yes. And I did a bit of art there because I just felt it was easy mm. for me, a course that would be easy for me to okay. pick. So you did visual art? Yes. Okay. And I moved on to do my sixth form at Every Girls. Okay. Where I picked art again, which I never learned anything because <laughs> all I used to do was just sit there and do what's... Before they would even tell me to do it, I've done more than I need to do. Right. And then I moved on to KNUST. Mm. That was when the challenge came. My mom was like, no, you're not going to do art mm. because I don't know what art is going to fetch. Right. So, and you've done so well. Why don't you go and read architecture? Mm. Which I had to now because mommy says right. you have to do architecture. Okay. How did yeah. that go? It was cool. It was okay. I finished it. I managed to finish it. Mm. And then I went on to London, South Bank, to do my master's 
in construction and project management, okay. which is an aspect of the architecture, okay. but more of the field work. Mm. Yes. Because I realized that the tomboy in me would want to jump around instead of just sitting down right. and drawing something I'm not really into. Mm. Let me put it that way, yes. Right. So it was after that I got married. I came to Ghana. I, got, I started working. Okay. I've worked for a couple of construction companies. Got married. Had kids divorced and that was when the art started you picked it up again coming back <laughs> right because you were looking for where to put all the energy yes yes right. I, I totally and it looks like my soul was at peace right if you just tuned in i'm having an awesome awesome conversation um with this very beautiful woman who is attempting to break so Who's the current holder, uh, record holder for, for this? He's a uh, Nigerian, but he's based in the U.S. Okay. A young gentleman, and he did it for 100 hours. That's 100 four days. hours. Yes. Right. Oh, it's the reason why you want to do seven days to, yes. to beat his record. Yes. So in a situation like this, have you, do, have you seen some of the things he did? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've you, seen some you've online. Seen some online. Very interesting. Very stuff. interesting yeah. stuff. But for a record like this, it's not so much about what you paint. No, 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 it's no. It's about no. breaking the record. Yes. It's about the, the act. Yes. And how long you're and doing. And not breaking the rule. Right. Yes. And just the continuation. Oh, when you end, that is what mm. breaks it. Mm. But it's not in particular, oh, it's nice. Oh, she painted this, this one painted that. No. It's not about that. Yeah. All right. So when is this happening? Um, it's coming on on the fifteenth of March, mm. and it's starting exactly twelve noon. Okay. The brush will go on the canvas. Right. And then we are back. Right. Fifteenth of March is that a weekday? A uh, weekend? I think it's a Friday. It's a Friday. It looks like okay. a Friday. Okay. That's yes. great. That's great. So we'll, we'll yes. all be there to support you. Ah, that would be awesome. Oh, we'll all be there to support you. Now, tell me, what are you hoping to achieve with this? Um, there is definitely a common, a general goal of achieving the certificates mm. from Guinness World Record. But I'm looking more at Ghana. Okay. Yes. And being a heritage painter... Feminism, all falling under our culture, our traditions. Mm. I want to project this across to the world. Okay. I want people to see what we have, the rich culture we have, the lifestyle we have, and whether, however it is, how beautiful, they should see the beauty mm. of it. Mm. Yes. And then... The educational side, I really want to impact onto the young children coming up, especially the girl children, okay. that art is also art and it's life. Mm. And you can, you can go to, you know, there's no limit when it comes to art. I just want to create that mentality in the mind of the African child or the Ghanaian child, that if you are a doctor, I'm also an artist. Mm. Yes. You yeah. know that kind of flex. Yes. yes. I want to bring that across. So after impacting that knowledge to them through the painter-thon, I really hold a lot of sessions okay. with schools and you know organizations, as well as villages, you know, the less deprived, I would love to really get involved mm. with them. And okay, yes. that's awesome. That's yes. awesome. That really is. <laughs> Pudiki Art Gallery.